welcome in angle between two vectors now the dot product is interesting because once you learn about the dot product then you can very easily find the angle between two vectors now if you have two vectors and we're assuming that they're going to be kind of planar so they're in the same plane so for example the xy plane when the two vectors are given to you and the directions are provided with maybe as you can see here so like a true bearing and then a quadrant bearing then it's not very difficult to find what the angle is right so for example if i would take these two vectors right here and then i would just graph them out which i'm going to just do okay or at least sketch them out okay within here so here is my X and Y, and I'm going to just assume that the starting kind of vectors that we have in here, so we have five Newtons, it's gonna be at 35 degrees, so notice that's true north there, so it's going to be, so if I would graph this out, so I have, so probably something like this, you know, so 35, so this is the angle right here that I have in here, if that's for the first one, and then the magnitude is five newtons. Now, the second one, so this one right here, so this is with respect to south, so this is quadrant bearing, and we're going east, so I guess this is gonna be east, and that's gonna be north. So south is at the bottom there, and we're going 45. Now this is a three newtons, so basically it's gonna be a smaller vector, but it's going to be something of this nature right there. So let's say, let's just assume that this is three and the 45 degrees is from south to east so this is 45 degrees right there all right so now with this then it's as i said pretty easy to be able to find what this angle is because we have been given the angles at least with respect to north and south here so if you know that's 35 45 well then actually that particular angle within here so it would be 180 degrees because that's this whole thing that's 180 okay right there now that 180 minus the 35 degrees and then minus the 45 degrees which i guess is going to be so 45 and that's going to be 80 so this is what 100 degrees in between there that is how we would easily find it if we are given the vectors in their kind of geometric form now what happens if you're not given the vectors in geometric form what happens if you are given the vectors that they are for example in cartesian form so cartesian vectors like this now if you want to find the angle in between sure we can graph this you know we can actually find out what the angle is with a little bit of work but if you know what the dot product is, and you have studied the dot product, then actually finding the angle in between two vectors that are in Cartesian form like this is actually relatively simple. It's gonna be a touch of calculation, but we can certainly find it. Now, where the actual angle comes out from is from the dot product itself. So let me, you know, for example, I'll call this, let me call this vector one. Okay, and then I'll call this, this is gonna be my vector two. So if you took the dot product in between these two, we know that the dot product between the two vectors is just simply the magnitude of the vectors, so like so, and then multiplied by the cos of the angle between them. So if I know these already, so I can certainly calculate what this is, uh, I can calculate what the magnitude is, so that's not very difficult to do either. And therefore, if I can find all of these, I can isolate for cos theta, and I can find out exactly what that theta, what that angle in between those two vectors is. So if I go ahead and kind of solve this out, so I'm gonna shift that cos to the left-hand side, so I'm gonna have cos Theta is nothing else but simply V1, so the dot product between the two vectors, which we know how to do for Cartesian um, vectors. And if you've forgotten, you know, I can put that link up above there. Now, this is gonna be divided by the magnitudes of the two vectors, okay, like so. And there you go, so you can find the cos theta and then you can use the 
um, cos inverse to find what that angle is. So with this example, so if I have that, well, I can find out the dot product in between these two, right? So I can find out what this is. So for instance, this is going to be negative three times two, which is gonna be negative six plus, and then it's gonna be five times seven, which is 35. So my dot product within here, and then I'm gonna divide by what the magnitude is in just a moment. So that is going to be 29. So that is my dot product value. And now the magnitudes, well, the first magnitude, so this one, for instance, so don't forget, this is just the square root of, and it's going to be negative three squared, which is gonna be nine, plus five squared, which is 25. So this is the square root of 34. So that's gonna be divided by square root of 34. And then this right here is gonna be the square root of, so two squared, which is four, plus seven squared, which is 49. And that's gonna be 53. And there we have it. So I can do this division directly, okay, with these two in there. And let me just take out the calculator just to complete it, but I think you get the gist, okay, what this would be. So I'm just gonna pop this out and we're gonna get 29 divided by square root of 34 multiplied by the square root of 53. All right, so I'm gonna put that all in brackets, okay? So now we have our result, which is gonna be, I'm gonna keep it on the calculator there. Okay, three, one, etc. blah, blah, blah. And this is just equal to cos theta. So now if you wanna find out what theta is, well, we can use the inverse, okay, of this right there and find out what that answer is, right? So 0 0.6831, you know, 57, okay, etc. So I can put that in here, so cos inverse, oops, cos inverse of, I guess I have to put the, type it back in, 3, 1, 5, 7, if you kept more decimals, you certainly can do that. And that's gonna be, so notice around 47 degrees, I'm gonna just round this. So the angle between those two vectors is approximately that. Now it is a little bit of work because you have to find the dot product and you have to find the magnitudes, but those are not very difficult to do. And it's actually just algebraic, right? It's just computation. It isn't anything else. Sure, you know, if they're in geometric form, it's much simpler. You can just visualize it, find out what that angle is, and then off you go. But if you are given Cartesian vectors, you're gonna have to do a little bit of calculation. But here is the actual result, okay, in terms of general terms. Just find that the cos theta is equal to the dot product between the vectors divided by their magnitudes. And then you can just find the theta by using the cos inverse. So that is it. That's all that I wanted to be able to cover in this particular video. You will be asked probably at times to find out what the angles between vectors are and you can actually use the dot product to help you if you wanted to find that out. All right, so thanks for watching. We'll see you in a future video. Bye everybody.